Alrighty, what is going on guys? My name is Forger on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. This is incredibly loud, but I'm just going to keep going with it for now. I'll turn it down in a second. Today, I wanted to do a live reaction, pretty much, of me trying out Call of Duty Zombies on Modern Warfare 3 2023. Because I've wanted Modern Warfare Zombies to be a thing since I was literally like 10 years old, way back in the day with MW2 and stuff like that. So, I, you know, I've wanted that for a while, right? Point is, um, this looks interesting, but at the same time, I'm not so sure because we're not getting round base. I've already made a video in the past talking about how this is the end of zombies, you know, being a bit dramatic, of course. That's just what we do here on this channel. But either way, okay, I'm not, I mean, I'm not wrong, am I? I don't know. Either way, this could be, we're going to go with an open mind. We're not going to go in with negativity right off the bat. Let's read this Operation Deadbolt. Explore an open world, aka just the Warzone map we're used. But you know what? It's new to us, at least. It's a brand new map. We get to use it before the Warzone players, at least. Okay. Explore an open world and search for valuable acquisitions and schematics. All right. Schematics, to my understanding, I haven't seen too much about this, but to my understanding, uh, it's basically like you can just find a, a schematic for a specific weapon, including Wonder Weapons, and then you can just crack it and bring it in so you can like craft a wonder waff and bring it in with you like into the game it's just i don't know why uh, I mean, it better be rare all right it better be rare if that's a thing a world of opportunity complete contracts are in essence and acquisitions i don't know what that even means acquisitions bro what are we talking about here what does that mean in this game secure and extract Immerse yourself and work with other players to complete mission objectives. See, I'm a solo player, bro. I don't like working with other players. That's why I don't play with other players. And we're not going to do that today. Squad Phil, I'm probably going to regret this. I, I, so, we're going to go in with the idea that this may be too challenging. I'm assuming this is obvious. This cinematic is just the same thing as... Okay, so this is just DMZ. So, it's missions, basically. Okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, this honestly though, this part of it looks interesting. I'll give them that. I really like the idea of DMZ. I like the idea of DMZ, but I just never play it because I don't. You can't. You literally cannot play it solo, and I don't. I really just don't want to play with random people when it comes to anything with PvP. I just, I just don't want to do that when it, with like DMZ where I gotta bring in my own weapons. Anyways, point is, all right. Active mission, direct line, no time to waste. The team heads of any way we're not reading this, right? It's just an active mission, ping a contract in the attack map, complete a contract, exfil. Easy, okay. So many pop-ups, man. Holy to take with you. I love how you can take a ray gun in, bro. Can we take a ray gun day one? You know, or game one? Um No? Okay, here's our uh, our copy paste cold war stuff. Literally the exact same stuff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got Aether Shroud, that's for sure. Anyways, regardless, all right, we said we're not going to go with the negative. I really do want to enjoy this. I do want to like this. Okay, so is that the ACR? That is the ACR. All right, screw it. We're just going to go with this. I'm not going to die, man. It's easy, so, you know. This is probably like Cold War in the sense of it's so easy that anybody can just do it. All right, how do I... All right, back up. Ready up. Match make. Put us in the game. All right. So we got to search for a match, even though we're playing solo, because it's literally going to be a game with other players. We may join up with other people, depending on how difficult it is. I don't know. I do like the music. The music, they usually get that right. Even Vanguard had some banger zombie music, and that's still surprising to me that they did that, and it actually worked just fine. Now, the thing that interests me a lot when it comes to Modern Warfare Zombies, though, even though, like I said, I don't like how it's not round base, I absolutely just can't stand that, and I would love if they added round base in the future to this game so we don't have to wait for round base game mode for Call of Duty 2024, assuming they even do it, because that's my worry right there, that they're not going to do that, and they're just going to stick with this type of thing. But, like, the thing that is interesting to me is the camo grind. The camo grind sounds pretty interesting, man. Grinding every weapon from Modern Warfare 2 22 and Modern Warfare 3 23. Over 100 different weapons I can grind through. It's going to take an absolute ton of time because I am not going to be sitting here constantly grinding for hours and hours. And that's a good thing, though. Gives me a lot to do. Oh, oh, here we go. Damn, that is gruesome. Same Cold War zombie sounds, though. Operation Deadbolt. Here we go. Fang. Okay. Difficulty low threat. Strike team. 
Select Ops. Let's test your tactical map skills. Ping a contract. Once you oh. complete it, call in a helo and get the hell out. Okay. Zombies of Modern Warfare. It's interesting. It's interesting. Oh man. Yep. Okay, there are zombies, but I don't know. I'm starting to. I'm starting to not like, bro. I'm running around. It feels like outbreak again. Just running simulator. Now I will just put this on sometimes. You know, just chill. And uh, okay, okay. I, I like how they actually come towards you though. Okay, okay. It's not exactly like outbreak. They actually try to come at you. Because in Outbreak, they would just sit there, just walking around like they don't even know you're there. It's like, man, is this The Walking Dead, bro? No, this is Call of Duty Zombies. They should be chasing me at all times. Why? I don't know why they're chasing me. They just want to kill me. So that's, I guess that's why. Man, this is some Warzone stuff, man. What is that? Oh, is this the Gersh device thing? I think it is. The Gersh device from Cold War? Yep, nah. Okay. That's cool. And I will say that like, it looks really good in this engine. I'll give them that. What? Okay, slaughterhouse at the top. What is that thing? Is that just gonna never go away? Like every time I get a kill, it's gonna show an achievement or what? Or I'm assuming that's achievement. I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay, a wall weapon. Not enough essence. They call points, motherfucker. All right. Yep. Okay. I will say. Right off the bat, I'm liking that it doesn't feel like Cold War, even though it sounds like Cold War in terms of all the weapon, not the weapon, zombie sounds. Were there hellhounds and there was plague hounds? I can't, I don't think there was hellhounds in Cold War. Could be wrong about that, I don't know, I can't remember. Okay, I really don't like the Cold War sounds. I, as you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of Cold War. <laughs> I just, that game was too easy. It just, it was fun for the grind, but other than that, okay, the, uh, honestly, honestly, okay. Alright, I'll give, I'll give them that it's actually not as bad as Outbreak so far. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised already. Why? Because I'm actually getting some action. It's not just running around for 20 minutes trying to find a goddamn horde of zombies to get kills on. Now, I don't like how it's on the Warzone map. I still don't like that. I just, it's not a, it was not made for zombies, right? So, it's not gonna have that zombie feel. But I guess it makes sense in here because it's supposed to be, I don't know, I guess it kind of makes, it's just with the modern warfare. I don't know, man, I'm trying to be positive about this because I, I do want to like it. I, I'm not sitting here wanting to hate it. I'm not like one of, the, one of those YouTubers where they just hate on stuff for absolutely just for the content of it even if they don't actually feel that way or maybe they just love to hate on Call of Duty I don't know whatever the reasonings that's not what I'm trying to do here I am trying to enjoy this and actually so far I am this just, we're not too deep in I don't even started doing my mission man I gotta okay it's some basic stuff we gotta like ping contracts and stuff like that Then, okay, I can't I can't get too hyped, alright? I was getting a little happy for a second there. I was expecting that really absolutely hate this, especially for a second there when there was absolutely nothing going on. There was nothing going on for the very first, like, 30 seconds, and I was like, damn. This is not looking too good. But honestly, I don't know. Because, like I said, with DMZ, man, I didn't like the idea that it... Like, I liked the Tarkov. I don't know why I'm talking... I, I did like the Tarkov-type game type where there's like contracts or missions or whatever to complete out or like within the game you go in knowing that there's some sort of mission to complete onto this mode but i didn't like how there was like it was just not chill it was not as chill as it should be I, there's gotta be a way to turn off those achievements right because that's actually it's kind of weird it's kind of annoying that that's just popping up oh. okay well 
Yeah, there was, it just wasn't chill, especially if you're trying to play solo. Good luck, man. You're going up against a full... I think you have, like, six people on a team, on a squad or whatever in that. Like, nah, I'm good. Okay, you know what? So far... So far, like I said, my biggest problem with Outbreak wasn't even the fact that it was lazy as hell in terms of how they just used fire team maps that they were going to use for Blackout 2, that Battle Royale game, though, that never came out because Warzone was a success, I guess. And um, the biggest problem, though, was the fact that the zombies just didn't spawn, dude. They didn't spawn. Like, I, like I keep complaining about it because it's true. I really did believe that it would just be like that. That's it. Also, there's nothing much to do in Outbreak. It... Here, let's check out this box. I want to see the box. Like, this This has missions. It, okay, this, this is all, like, the honeymoon effect, all right? But just know that it's also the honeymoon effect that originally, when I did see it, I was like, damn, this looks like some ass. So, just know that there is, you know, it's not... Okay, here it is. You know, the box does look good. Yeah. Okay. I changed the sound. Okay, so I'm guessing it is going to be... Or not is going to be. It is just like Cold War in the sense of we have rarity. Okay. So you, the weapons you spawn in with are common. I'm guessing we can upgrade them. Where do we upgrade them? Where is... I need to like... Here. Marking contract. Well, I pinged it. That was a part of the thing. Can I see my missions? Oh, wow. Why am I this character? Do I have to, I gotta change my operator for every single game mode? <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. I'm gonna do third person. That actually is kinda cool, though, because now if you get a skin, you can actually see it. Now, I wouldn't personally choose to play like this, but the option to have it is kinda cool. Okay, I'll give him that. I, I could honestly see myself chilling around, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Once you get all the missions done, and the camos and everything, I mean, that's a long time away, but, like, what what is there to do, right? Are they just going to keep adding missions? Is there something, some sort of end-game content to do this? Honestly, like I said, it doesn't seem like it could be, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. I can't believe I'm saying that. Really can't believe I'm saying that. I really was ready to tell, to say this game was ass. Not the game itself. Like, I was just buying for multiplayer. I really just missed that sniper shot. <laughs> but man. I think another problem with Cold War is the fact that the engine just was... Not really... It wasn't as advanced as this engine. And it just... It definitely... It just... It feels good. It feels good, man. Constant action, man. I love this. Okay. Now, this is tier one, though. This is tier one zombies. As we make our way into the center of the map, apparently it gets harder and harder, and there's bosses and stuff. Okay, you gotta at least change up these icons, though, man. You can't make it look identical to DMZ. Come on. Like... Oh, Pack-a-Punch is way over here. Alright. So this is kind of nice. It's like, it gives you a chill time if you, like, stop shooting at zombies after you, like, kill a horde or whatever, but... It's not... It's not exactly, like... But if you keep killing them and you're, like, moving around and stuff, they'll still spawn and stuff. Eliminate the big bounty. What is this? All right. Yep, same animation as DMZ. Okay, we'll let it pass. That's what a lot of this is. It was clearly very rushed. I heard that they only had a year and a half to make Modern Warfare 3, which is... Holy shit, that hellhound scared me. There's not a lot of time for a game. They definitely had to crunch. You know, get some time crunch going on there, but, uh... So, you know, maybe we'll give the devs some slack on this, uh, because they gotta cut a lot of corners. So, when I criticize stuff, it's mostly, like, Activision. Because if they're not forcing developers to crunch and spend so much time in... Or, like, not so much time, but, like, they have to make games in like a year and a half. Like that's crazy. Right? It was like a Bloomberg article that I saw about that. Is that a zombie? I didn't tell if that was a person or a zombie. I heard that there was like actual like AI, like not zombies, like people. I don't know if that's true. What the hell? 
Well, I'm guessing I need a gas mask to enter this. Okay, so there's a reason for the gas mask. Other than, I guess, maybe the gas comes in at the end of the game. So, this is basically DMZ zombies. But, I do think that's more interesting than DMZ. I don't know. I just think that's a lot more interesting. You can complete the missions. I, I, I wish I could... Can I see my missions? There's no way you can't, right? Here, here. Squad missions. Ping a contract in the TAC map. I swear I did that. Complete a contract. Exfil. Okay. Yeah, very basic stuff for the start, I guess. That makes sense. What? Emergency rations. Activate a deadbolt turret. Okay, so, basically... CMCW it is. Can you buy ammo from here? Where's all the ammo boxes? There gotta be ammo boxes, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, there are people. Hold on. I think. Yeah, grunt. Aw, oh, man, I don't like that. I mean, I guess... I guess, you know, if we're in this world where there's a zombie apocalypse, there would be other survivors, right? But it's Call of Duty zombies, man. I don't want to get shot at. Like, like, look at that. I don't want grenades thrown at me, bro. I mean, I guess I could avoid this. Okay, yeah, this is some ass, this part. I don't like that. I'm gonna be real. At least don't throw grenades at me. Like, keep it chill. I mean, okay, I guess they, they do drop good loot, though. Okay, maybe not. Maybe if they drop some good stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't fit Call of Duty Zombies. Like, if you're going to call it Call of Duty Zombies, even if it is not round-based and it's not traditional zombies at all, you know, we got we to gotta at least keep, up, keep some boundaries, you know? Some boundaries. You already went over, you know, and you already stepped over the line of no round-based, which really was just so we could have... Uh, take that. Really was just so that we could, you could basically make zombie DMZ mode, you know, easy. Or maybe not easy, but a lot easier than making round-based zombies, that's for sure. No way, it's not. Wow. My, my aim. This is gonna be a long video. I don't even care. I think I'm just gonna, like, upload this raw. Like, I don't even care. Maybe I'll cut a little bit. Why is there gas everywhere? Oh, I have a gas mask though, so it doesn't matter. Oh wait, if I have a gas mask, I want to check this out. How long does this last, though? Picture of cat, yeah, that's some DMZ stuff. Clear the infestation. How do I, how do, I do that, dude? How do I, uh... My, uh, my shit's gonna break. What's going on here? Ooh. A purple gun. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. What a key card. I didn't even think of that. That makes sense. Yeah, it's just like DMZ. Yep, yep, yep. DMZ. But that's actually, it's actually a lot help more helpful because in this points, aka essence as they call it, but points, bro, come on. It says double point for a reason, right? Anyways, this actually, like, you can actually use those points to upgrade your guns and stuff. Like, can you actually use money or for DMZ? Like, I'm pretty sure DMZ money is just... It just turns to XP. Or I guess you could buy some stuff. Like, kill streaks and stuff. But... It's something that... That's a nice... That's a nice pop-up. The challenges. I like the challenges. I like the challenges. That looks good. Whoever designed that UI-wise, can you guys design the UI for the main menu? Because clearly you know what you're doing, you know? Um, but, uh... Ooh, you know what? I know this is purple, but this, this is full auto shotgun. So, we're going to stick with that. But, um, yeah, this is, I don't know if I'd play this all the time. I, I will now, probably, because I want to get the camos done, and I 
do want to actually... I want to give it a fair shot. These are just my first impressions. I could totally change my mind. That's kind of what happened with Cold War, I'm going to be real. With Cold War, I kind of liked it at first, but... Then I kind of saw a lot of the flaws. And how it's so easy. How there's very little to do. And it kind of just fell off. Um, I don't remember what button it is to switch off of this. Okay, it's V. Is it a mangler? Did I just see a mangler? Rant boil. My guy. That's a Russian mangler if I've ever seen one. Don't try to get all fancy. I mean, I guess it's a little different, but not really. Okay, why is he not moving? I thought he was like... Is he bugged? Yo, piss off. Right. Oh, it literally says locate the mangler. Holy, this shotgun is wild. Oh, I forgot that you shoot the arm. I'm an absolute moron. Alright. Please die. This has to be, like, purposely made easy, right? Like, because it's, like, the first one I'm doing. Reward Rift. What's, what's this? Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Ah, bro, you... Yeah, you don't lose perks when you get down because the map is so big. That's what they were talking about one time. I thought that this would be... I thought you were going to, like, pull out the can. You'd actually have to drink the perk, bro. Why did you just skip the animation entirely? All right, technically I should exfil right now. But I kind of want to just check out the tier... Two and then tier. What? What is it? What, what, how does it go? Is this tier one? Tier one? Tier two? Tier three? I think that's how it goes. I want to go to the center of the map, where it's apparently the hardest it can be. Although real quick, I also want to go check out the pack punch. Can, do I have enough to pack punch? Yeah, I think I do. Although at the same time, I do want jug. So yeah, we're gonna go with jug. Actually, that's probably the smarter move. I like how you can see everybody. Okay, that's actually a good thing. I thought it would be like just DMZ where you don't see anybody, but I guess because that's a PVP mode. Or, P you know, PvP is a part of it. I guess they just they don't do it in that, but in this, they do. Alright, I think we are now entering the Tier 2 zone or something like that. Yeah, medium threat. Oh, well, well right away we're going to Tier 3. Yeah, that looks like an abomination, bro. Hold on. I don't have any... Yeah, no, 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 we need teammates for this one, or at least uh, some better weapons. Okay, so it looks like we have mimics and giant uh, abomination stuff. Um, the the vehicle, the car, the truck, or whatever, just seems like it does a great job, though. Oh my god. I like how it looks, like, darker and scarier as you get in further and further. That's how it should be. That's like a big issue with Cold War that I had. Everything was just... Oh my god. It was just too... Multiplayer Battle Royale-like. That's what it looked like. It was just... Not unique enough to the zombies aspect. Of the zombie theme. Yes, please keep hopping in front of the truck, man. It's some easy kills. Wait, I just realized. What, am I getting points? I am, but it's so little. I guess because there's so many zombies? I don't know. No, that, shouldn't, that doesn't make sense. A lot of zombies in... These bums. No, no, don't you shoot at me. Yeah, bruv. I, I got you, bruv. Better not be anything more than 2,500. Alright, it's 2,000. Okay, okay. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. You can milk the machines. Alright. Okay, wow. Wow, yeah, they get tanky. They get tanky in tier two. 
Holy, they get tanky. I may have to play this with a squad in the future. Not looking forward to that. Big and strong. Reach for Juggernaut. Alright. I want to exfil, though. That's the problem. Like, I want to go push inside of that. Where's the... It's over here. Alright, here's the pack punch. Yep, 5,000. Increased damage and ammo capacity. Alright, it's instant. Oh, so you actually have to go into the deeper, more difficult zones to pack a punch further. Okay. That's a nice touch, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this pad over here. Oh, it's not an actual pad, it's a portal. I thought it was like the pads in Outbreaks. Okay, let's see. Can we train them just like we always can? I don't see why we couldn't. Yep. Looks like we can. Nice slide cancel. Okay, okay. That's just, that's very rude. Alright. Oh, you hit me. See, something I would like to see with this type of game mode is an actual zombie map made for this type of game mode. Not just a war zone map, something that was made specifically. Like maybe it's pieces of the old like the OG maps from like round based zombie type stuff. Like pieces of that scattered around. And like that's what makes up the POIs or something. Uh, like throw in transit. We need transit on a map. That's all. You know what you could have put transit on this map and I would have been happy honestly. I just want to see transit in a modern day Call of Duty game, especially if we're talking about a big open world thing, because that's kind of like what transit is supposed to be. You know, it's like, that's what they were trying to go for. Like a, like a Call of Duty zombie. Okay, well. Yeah, there had to be something, couldn't there? You know, there just had to be. Anyways. All right, let's get the hell out of here, man. Oh my god. Oh, see, look, that's kind of sick. It's kind of like Diablo in the sense of, like, there's just random, like, other players. Can I get up on a... Holy shit, wait. Is there, like, a, a tall building? Can I get up there? Moving here. Will they follow me over there? Extract Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be a ladder. Gotta be a ladder. Gotta be a ladder. Okay, we climb, we climb. Oh, they're all, they're, they're all going for him, though. Stay clear. Her down. <gasps> Why did it not? Why did it not do that? Alright, let's go up here. Let's try this up here. Strike team, unless you want to be melted, <gasps> where you stand by oh, yeah. Flopper. Flopper's the move, man. Oh, monkeys. I forgot to have these. Piss off. Yo! Piss off! Yo, let's get the hell out of here, bro. Yo, why is there a mimic on the fucking chopper? Holy! Bro, you don't have to lie down. It's not DMZ. We're not gonna get sniped. Easy. All right. So those those are my first impressions of the game. Honestly, I I'm a little torn on it because on one hand I want to stick to my guns and be like, yeah, I was right. I think that it was absolutely awful, but it's not actually how I'm. That's not how I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it's honestly this could be the the honeymoon effect, right? But currently I'm actually having quite a bit of fun. Surprisingly, completing missions and just. It's something interesting. I thought it'd be completely boring because it is not that. Uh, it, it's pretty lazy in the sense of it's just zombies on the war zone map, or at least that's how it is on paper. I guess there's a lot more to it. I guess, um, and it's DMZ zombies pretty much. That is actually what it is. I mean, if you look at the loading screen, sometimes the DMZ logo shows up. Apparently, from what I've seen, so 
yeah um but either way regardless of what it is how it was made how long it took to make i mean i just had a lot of fun to be completely honest now will this last will this have longevity once we complete all three of these acts once we get all the camos done who knows we'll see probably not to be honest with you but um we'll see in the future but for now i'd give it like a six out of ten because there was some fun to be had and it was better than vanguard that's for damn sure and I also, I think it's way better than Outbreak Zombies. Outbreak Zombies was some ass. Uh, there was nothing to do in that. And yeah, I just didn't have that much fun. There was, it was just, it was pretty boring. And at least they, they're trying to innovate a little bit. Uh, it's just unfortunate that it's on the Warzone map. That part bothers me. I don't like that. Just give us a real, true map that is made specifically for this mode. And uh, we would be... It would just be amazing. But either way, uh, I do think that it's uh, it's so far pretty good. That 6 out of 10 could drop, but for now... Or it could go up, actually. Who knows? They could add more stuff to it and make it better. They could add round base to this. Uh, that Based off some leaks, they uh, may add round base to this down the road. Who knows? But either way, that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, like it would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. 